go on every so often and check just to make sure things are looking good, especially if there's a storm, my friend might lose power and I'm not here yeah. on a Saturday night. It could be, let me just check and make sure everything seems to be running. Or if we're gonna be closed over holiday, it's good for me to just go on and check, make sure everything's running smoothly, all the temperatures are accurate. So in that respect, it's just peace of mind. You can go right on to the website and change any kind of settings you want, or at least be knowledgeable. One of the problems I had was on a Sunday. So I was able to see exactly what was going on. I even sent the message to my refrigeration person. He got said, okay, and I think I know what this is. It's short cycling. And it was, it was very simple. He came to exactly where to go. He knew what compressor it was. You know what the authority I did, what the problem was, and was able to fix it. And I was sitting on my couch on a Sunday. And we've also had, in our warm room, it's, there's a thermostat in there and all of a sudden somebody will touch it for whatever reason and now my temperature goes up and without this system we wouldn't have known that the temperature went up three to four degrees, which doesn't sound like much, but if it sits over a weekend, we come in and all our bananas would be overripe, our tomatoes would be mush. This thing said, hey, temperature change and we need to go in there immediately. And since someone's here all the time, it's easy for me to call someone and say, hey, do me a favor, go in and turn the thermostat down. I utilize them three times a day, um, Monday through Friday every day, and I record temperatures usually around uh, 6 a.m., 9 a.m., and 12 p.m., uh, unless I'm running around from my desk for whatever reason. And uh, I also utilize it uh, via my mobile phone. Uh, my uncle will give me a call in the afternoon when I'm at my other job and say, hey, I need you to raise uh, room three to this temperature because I'm trying to write the product quicker. Yep. so that we have more for production for tomorrow or vice versa this stuff's too red so we want to keep it a little bit cooler so that we don't lose it so quickly or so that it doesn't uh, decay um, and it's honestly the best uh, feature is to be able to just go on my phone and change the uh, temperature at will which yep. is great It'll become your new best friend. Because if you got problems, it'll tell you. And and some of the problem, I told them, some of the problems are not a big problem and you can go in and adjust that. The system's just designed to tell you what's going on, what it sees. And uh, we've had to do some tuning over the, over the years. But I'd rather know that it's paying attention than not. I know this winter alone, it's it helped us because we had a, we wouldn't have known, but with your system, we got email warnings that one of the main coolers, uh, the evaporator wasn't working correctly. It turned out there was a blown fuse. We would have never known that because all our temperatures read fine. So there's no way to know. You can't hear it, doesn't make a sound. So fortunately with your system, we would have seen there was a problem, called the refrigeration guy, went up to the roof and said, you have two blown fuses but it was so cold that the box maintained its temperature. So that just pre prevented us from even having more damage to you know, the evaporators or the system by catching it early. I get the emails within minutes of when the system detects a malfunction and then I'm able to just call up my cooler techs and, and they're here, they're, they're on call 24 seven. Yep. I had an incident uh, on July 4th, two years ago where lightning struck one of the units on the roof and uh, I got the alarm right away and was able to call and have somebody here within 20 minutes of it happening.